at Wizards with now. Just just uh, just know that this is your this is my top five. Now you might have a different top five than me. Someone else might have a different top five than you. This is just my opinion on my top five. So let's just get started in to to it. So first off, we have Revenant. Now Revenant is actually a really good frame because he is one he can survive with his uh, second ability. He can two heal himself with his third ability, and his four can do quite a bit of damage. Now that is why I do like like him. If you have seen my Revenant uh, helmet build, there will be a little card on the screen. The same with every single in the top five. If I have done a uh, helmet build, there will be a card on screen. If not, it will just be a normal build. Just to be a card on screen. Now I've done a build on every single one of these uh, frames. So, so now next we have Seren. Now Seren is really good. Now in hard mode, she doesn't do as much damage as in easy mode. She still does a lot of damage, but she is also I mainly made her trying for survivability. So if you have seen my build card on screen, if you have seen the Seren build, it's actually really good for surviving on the in general the surviving. We're still doing a nice amount of damage. So you've got a nice amount of crowd control and you've got a nice amount of DPS. So that's why I really do like Sarah because she just does a lot of damage and she can heal herself with a mole if you have an augment. So there you go, right there. And also you can uh, abuse the uh, shield negate by keep spamming the mole because if you get to like zero shield, if you instantly use mole back, you back up to like whatever how many shields you get from how, how many mods your organ mods you have on. So that is just really good because uh, mole doesn't take any time. So you, you are really hard to kill because of shield negate. So as soon as you are on zero shield boom use your mole there you go you've got back up to shield and you're gonna have that like a couple of seconds of invulnerability again when you do lose that next is wisp now wisp is a really good frame now i don't see many people using her but in my opinion she is very very good now the reason why wisp is very very good is because her whole build is amazing now except for the last ability i actually have swapped that to war cry uh, i'm probably gonna do a bit uh, of build on it in the future maybe so first off we have a reservoirs that basically just give us a lot amount of health they give us some speed and they basically and the shock mode as well gives us crowd control when we're near enemies so that's a really good one now the willow wisp now this is the reason why i really like wisp is because she can basically go invulnerable for ages if you didn't know if you double tap your willow wisp like really quick then you can basically go invulnerable now it doesn't have to be really quick but if you use your willow wisp and then while that wisp is out for minus 4.7 seconds uh, if you press it, the ability again you will teleport to it and you'll go invulnerable now i normally just like tap it twice so that i can just basically be in the same spot but go invulnerable and this is actually really good because the time of vulnerable is three seconds so it's just really really good to use and then you got your breach surge as well that basically makes you do more damage for around the area and kind of crowd controls them a bit as well so that is really good and that's why reason why I do like it because you can do a be decent amount of damage and you're you're gonna be healing a lot from your reservoirs, your vitality is gonna give you more health, it's gonna give you more it's gonna give you health regain, and it's just it's just a really good frame in general. Next we have got Hildren. Now the reason why I've gone with Hildren for our number four spot is because Hildren basically can't die in hard mode. And if you haven't seen a uh, my video on it i recommend go check it out but if you just have the base base hildren on its own you can't die now like i said i've done a build on it and a video so i'm going to talk about it on that that video is going to be more talked about so basically have a pillage can give you shields and a haven just basically does a decent amount of damage around now our aegis storm is like basically just a crowd control so if you do this in solo you're not really going to be using it a lot so if you do this in solo hard mode you're not really going to be using it as much uh, and then the first ability I've actually changed for Warcry. You don't have to change it, but I just like having a nice amount of attack speed. So basically, yeah, that's why she's at the fourth one because Hildren basically can't die. Now, my favorite Warframe in the game, my favorite Warframe in the game is Octavia. Now, the reason why my favorite is Octavia is because she can do tons of damage. Uh, she can literally basically just stay in one area be invisible and do loads of damage. Now, if you haven't seen a build on Octavia, there'll be a little card on the screen right now. And basically, Octavia is just, her whole kit is really good. Now, I actually have swapped uh, her Resonator. Um, you probably, if you've seen the build, you know what ability I've put on. 
But basically, her mallet just does loads of damage in hard mode. Uh, the reason why is because obviously they do more damage. So the more damage that basically goes into this mallet, the more damage that, dish that dishes out. What well, is actually really good. And basically, it's just really good. And then obviously your metronome makes you can go invisible. That's you can literally just sit there spamming crouch while your mallet is just damaging everything. And then obviously you got your amp that uh, gives damage multiplier and it can give extra range and all that. What well, is just really good. So that's basically my top five guys. If any of you guys do have any other suggestion warframes in the comment section down below, put your suggestions because other people might like different warframes than me. I prefer that like, tankiness, that type of frames that I do like. And Octavia is just a really good one because it's invisible and does a lot of damage. And um, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It'll be very much appreciated. And yeah, peace out guys.